I was feeling like absolute shit this morning. Literally, so frisky. Oh my god. Are you freaking joking me? Listen to your body. Hello you guys, welcome to another vlog. It is currently 12.25. It was a rough, rough, rough morning. I'll get more into that in a second, but feeling better now. <laughs> And I just wanted to quickly show you guys because I'm making um, potatoes for breakfast So I quickly wanted to show you guys how that I do that because I found this new method And if you guys have an air fryer, you need to try this right now like seriously Okay, so I just like cut up five rusts of potatoes. I peel them and chop them up so I'm just gonna put those in. I swear I'm not like a cooking channel like I know I've done a lot of like recipes But I just feel like you know when I find a good recipe It's cool to share in case you guys want to try it when i like watch just like regular youtubers that are not like food youtubers i still like when they put like food in them just fun finding new things to make so that's why i want to show you guys okay so just put them into the bowl here they're just cubed and i'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil you don't need much because this is going in the air fryer okay so my favorite way to make like spice up the breakfast potatoes is to put salt and then i like to put garlic powder I just eyeball it, I don't measure anything. And then paprika, because paprika gives it like a good spice to it. So whether you like it more spicy, put more, less spicy, put less. Then I just take a big spoon and mix it around. So this is what they look like, um, all seasoned up. And that's literally it. Then what I do is I throw them in the air fryer. Joel's here. Hello. Toss them in here. This is the air fryer that we have. My mom just got it from Costco. Okay, so the way that we like to cook them is put them in at 400 and put them in for 12 minutes. And then after the 12 minutes is over, take them out, shake them up, and then put them back in for another 12 minutes. And then that's it. Literally, it cooks itself. It's so easy and convenient. So yeah, that's how I've been making like my hash browns in the morning. It's so good with like avocado and toast on the side. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna explain what happened to you guys. I got my period last night. I woke up this morning, I was feeling fine, and then all of a sudden I was feeling like absolute shit. So I was like, holy shit, I don't know how I'm gonna do anything today because I had to get my, like I just got my tires changed and the appointment was at 10. So I was like, whatever, I'll tough it out because I have this tire appointment, I need to get my tires changed. So we go to the tire place, get our tires changed, and we're driving away. And then this lady at a stoplight, she like stops beside my car and she's like, roll down the window. And she's like, your hubcap just fell off back there in the middle of the road. And I'm like, are you freaking joking me? Like I was in so much pain, I just wanted to get home. So me and Joel turn around, we go back, Joel runs in the middle of the road, find the hubcap, someone had like put it aside we grabbed the hubcap and then i called the, the car dealership and i'm like yo the hubcap fell off like what the heck so we go back long story short very rude workers we ended up getting it fixed regardless whatever everything happens for a reason it's just like in that moment i was just so in pain i was just like i just want to get home but yeah i'm feeling a lot better now like my cramps are kind of residing right now probably gonna come back at some point in the day i still don't feel 100 whatsoever today is just gonna be a chill day i'm just gonna sit down and edit on the couch today already popped like 10 advils literally but i really want to find a natural remedy to help me with my period cramps because every single month i get hit so so hard and i've tried to change my diet before and nothing seems to really affect it um so if anyone has any natural remedies or something natural that you guys have tried and it worked please let me know in the comments down below because that would be super super helpful but yeah that was my very rough morning we're okay now but yeah it's literally the day that i get my period i'm, I'm done for it like i need to cancel any any plans that i have because it's just not it's not okay okay so here's how they turn out literally so crispy and good like so amazing if you guys have an air fryer you guys need to try this recipe out okay so i just made a matcha and now i'm just gonna sit on the couch because i feel like shit luckily i can work from the couch so that is amazing to me so that's what we're gonna do and i'll catch up with you guys later also how bomb does this look i love matcha so much hey you guys it is currently one o'clock the next day and i was feeling like absolute shit this morning like not good this time of the month is hitting me a little too hard and it's very hard to deal with but i am feeling a lot better now i just like had to take the morning and relax all i did was finish editing a video and i uploaded it 
got the thumbnail in and everything for next week. I'm glad I got that done, but I could not leave the couch. I was dead, like I could not move. It almost feels like someone punched you in the stomach. And you know that feeling after someone punches you, it's like, Ugh! Like that feeling, it's like that feeling doesn't go away and it just stays. Like I couldn't even walk without bending my back. But yeah, I'm literally wearing the comfiest outfit right now. I look like a grandma. I'm wearing these snowflake pajamas, cute, right? And this big oversized t-shirt because I need to be wearing loose clothing because if I don't wear loose clothing, then I'm gonna die even more. So it's the fit for today. So now I'm just going to probably make a matcha because I would have a coffee, but usually <laughs> when I'm on my period, if I have a coffee, it gets things going in here a little bit too much. It doesn't end up too pretty. So we're gonna have a matcha and I'm gonna make that now. But yeah, my plans for the rest of the day. My dad, oh my gosh, my dad found actually the, remember my, if you guys watched my little, one of my other like previous vlogs, I couldn't find soft tofu. But my dad bought some for me because he was at the store and he found some. So we got some hard tofu, extra firm, so that is amazing. And I'm going to make that air fryer recipe that I was going to make in that vlog, but it didn't turn out because I couldn't find the hard tofu. So I'm gonna make that tonight for sure. I'm not sure with what yet. Maybe like rice and veggies or salad or whatever, but definitely gonna make that tonight. So I'm excited for that. So I'll show you guys the recipe for that tonight. But yeah, I'm just gonna make a matcha right now. Sorry, I look like complete shit. I just can't today. Like I cannot even try to look presentable. It's not happening. <laughs> Also, it, it's kind of like a cloudy day today, but I think the sun is gonna shine a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna spend some time with mother nature outside. I feel like that will help me, you know, somehow. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. That's what I need to do. And I need to work a bit today. So as long as I get some stuff done, it'll make me feel okay. So let's make some matcha. Okay guys, I've been waiting so long for this Australian gold sunscreen to come back in stock. I've literally been waiting a couple months now. So this is the one that I've been waiting for, like the face sunscreen. I'm getting two because this one is fair to light and this one is medium to tan. So depending like my skin tone, whether I'm tanned or not, I could like mix the two. So I'm gonna buy both of these. And then I'm also buying this SPF 30 continuous spray bronzer, with it, which is pretty much like a spray on sunscreen. It just gives you like a glow, that's what it said. And the only reason why I'm buying this is because like to get free shipping, I needed to add $15 to my cart. So I'm just getting like this instead of paying for shipping. And yeah, I'm so excited to try this. Whenever it comes in, I'm gonna give, give you guys a review. Yay, I just placed my order. Hey guys, it's like 3.30, almost four. And we're going to grocery shopping right now because we really have nothing except for tofu in the house to make. So we're gonna go get some groceries so that we can have a good nutritional dinner. Ooh. I need to clean my Air Forces so badly, but like I'm just so bad at cleaning shoes. I just don't have the patience to do it. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I'm on the chase. Shit, tripping the safe, flipping for pay. Tipping like I'm such a weak So we just went grocery shopping and I picked up some honey peanuts to eat on the way home because I'm literally starving. I'm gonna make tofu, rice, and kale when we get home. But in the meantime, I'm literally so hungry. So I'm gonna shovel some peanuts down my gutter. They're so good. Okay, so I just put the rice on and now I'm going to cut up the tofu. So I'm just gonna cube it. It's all wet, one sec. Okay, so I'm gonna put olive oil in here, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, pepper and salt. I'm honestly just eyeballing everything, so just put however you feel. And then she said to use tapioca starch, but since I don't have that, I'm just gonna use cornstarch. Should be like the same thing. Okay. So now this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna mix everything um, together. This actually smells really good. Okay, now I'm just gonna shake them in nutritional yeast. All right, so this is what they look like now, and I'm just gonna plop them in the air fryer. So it's said to put them in the air fryer for three, 370 for 12 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I really hope 
hope that they turn out good. So now the rice is almost done. Now since we're doing done that, I'm gonna throw a pan and get the kale cooking. So the tofu is just finishing up right now, but I got my iron supplement in the mail. Yeah, this is, oh, this is the one that I got. How many do I take a day? Oh, I only take one per day. All right, hopefully this makes me feel better. You guys, the tofu came out so good. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby, so crispy. Okay, this turned out so good. Yeah. <laughs> Is that daddy? Is that dad? Yeah. You wanna go see him? Huh? Go see daddy! guys it is 8 30 now and i just wanted to come out here because it is quite a nice evening it's kind of chilly but the birds are chirping it's beautiful the sun is about to set i'm so happy that it's like setting later now but yeah i just wanted to talk about like listen to your body especially when you're going through that time of the month listen to your body like if you feel like you need movement do movement if you feel like you need more ice cream have more ice cream whatever you crave your body is telling you that for a reason so make sure that you listen to it Every Everyone's body is different. Everyone's body needs different things. Everyone feels better with something different. So whatever that is for you, figure it out and listen to your body because our bodies are always evolving and changing and it's just so important. Especially around the time of the month, I have so many cravings. Like I eat like a horse. Like I eat so much and I'll have the most unhealthy things, but it's like, I just had to have it. Like it was a craving. I was listening to my body and it made me feel good. <laughs> So it's like so important to listen to your body and do what's right for you. Not every fitness plan or not every meal plan is going to be right for you. So make sure that you're fueling your body in the most healthy ways that feel good for you and that make you feel happy, that make you feel energetic because like I said, everyone's body is different so it's important that you listen to yours. Yeah, go out in nature if you want to. It feels so great. I just feel like there's something so soothing about nature out here and it's like whenever I feel pain it's so nice just to sit outside and it's just like almost so healing the trees are just so i don't know everything just seems so much more magical but yeah again listen to your body do whatever is right for you yeah i'm gonna end off the vlog here because i feel like i got enough footage already and i don't want to make this too long i know my vlogs have been like really long recently if you guys want there's like a feature on the bottom where you can watch it in like 1.25 or 1.5 or two times speed so that you can like zip through it quicker because i know that they're really long and i honestly all the youtube videos that i watch i always like use that feature and i watch them faster because you're still watching the video you're just you can watch more and it's in a small time frame so if my video is too long just speed it up literally it's so convenient but yeah let me know if you guys like the longer vlogs or if you want me to keep them shorter i don't know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and yeah i'm sending you guys positive vibes positive energy yeah most importantly listen to your body i love you guys so much peace out